This is Banjo and today I'll teach you how to create a helicopter insertion and extraction. Start by placing down your unit, followed by the helicopter, and name the helicopter. In this case I'm going to name it Heli-1. We name the helicopter because on the squad mates we're going to be using a move-in cargo command to move them into the passenger seats. With the helicopter and the squad placed, we now select the squad mates. In their initialization field, type this, move in cargo, followed by the name of the helicopter, in this case, Heli-1. We use this function so we can place units inside a vehicle before the start of the mission. With everything set up, the last thing to do is set the helicopter to flying, or else it'll start on the ground and have to spool up and take off. And we give it a waypoint for transport unload. Next I'll place a loiter waypoint so that it leaves the area after inserting the troops. Now I'll preview it so you can see how it works. As you can see here the troops are all inside the helicopter and we're on our way to unload at the waypoint. I'll speed this up. And now with the troops unloaded, it heads towards the loiter waypoint. Waiting. Now I'll learn how to create an extraction. For this purpose I'll be creating an op for a unit, and I'll be naming each of them for use with the switch trigger that I'll be using later. I set up a load waypoint to pick up the troops once they eliminate the OP4 unit. Then I give it a waypoint to leave the area once the mission's completed. To stop the helicopter from loading the troops before the OP4 unit is eliminated, we use a switch trigger. Inside the condition field, we type exclamation mark alive followed by the name of the units. An and symbol means and, so we type that in between each entry. Next we synchronize the trigger to the loiter waypoint, since everything after that waypoint is what's going to be affected by the switch. The switch will switch into everything after the waypoint you synchronize to. The final step is to give waypoints to the blue 4 unit, with the final waypoint being a get in waypoint synchronized to the helicopter's load waypoint. With all that completed, we can now test the insertion and extraction, which will rely on the CSAT unit being eliminated.
And that's how you create an insertion and extraction for your missions in ARMA 3.